So let's think about what makes a plant a plant. Um, plants share many characteristics in common with you. For example, plants are multicellular in that they're made of more than one cell. Plant cells are eukaryotic, and remember that's the complicated type of cell that has internal membranes. Plants, unlike you, are autotrophic. And by autotrophic, we mean that they can make their own organic food from inorganic uh, nutrients. So plants, as you know, are able to take carbon dioxide and water and use uh, light from the sun and make an organic food substance out of it. So plants are autotrophic. Plants have cell walls made of cellulose. Uh, your, your cells do not have cell walls. Fungal cells have cell walls, but they're made of a substance called chitin. So plants have cell walls made of cellulose. Plants have chloroplast, and that's where photosynthesis takes place, their autotrophic mechanism. And the chloroplasts contain chlorophyll A and B, and so that's just the type of chlorophyll that we find in uh, plant cell chloroplast. For the most part, plants are adapted for terrestrial life, and that means that they live on land. Certainly, if you think about plants, most of the plants you may think about are terrestrial plants, but there are plants that live in the, in the water, but for the most part, they're adapted for terrestrial life. Now, the final thing about plants is that plants exhibit what we call alternation of generations. alternation of generations and basically this means that plants alternate between what we call a sporophyte generation and a gametophyte generation and that's one of the things that we want to talk about next.